I'm really into Britpop. Have you heard any bands? Um, no. Oh mm, God, what is there? There's Pitiful Fondue, Absolute Friendship. There's uh, Temple of the Rising Khakis. Um, let's see, there's Emotional Kittens. Um, there's Duck Pond. They're really not as good as Duck Pool. They're actually kind of a ripoff, but have you heard of them? I've heard of Duck Pond, but I, I don't think I've heard their music. Mm, oh God, they're so good. They're kind of like a ripoff emotional attorneys, but I still love them anyways. I went and saw them in this like underground pub in Quebec last year because like they'll actually let you in when you're 18. So I didn't even have to take my sister's ID this time. That's really cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so definitely I would recommend any of those. You're gonna love them. Cool, I'll definitely check them out. Thank you. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna head out guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see ya. Bye. See ya. Hey, wait up. Where are you headed? Uh, I usually walk through the wash on my way home from school. So do I. Do you mind if I join you? No, not at all. <laughs> cool. My name's Teresa, by the way. Meet you. <laughs> the movie Breathless by Godard. The lighting, the framing, everything in that movie is so beautiful. I, I go back to it so many times but I would definitely recommend that one. I'd love to see that. <laughs> There's actually a good uh, rep theater downtown that they play those kinds of movies every weekend. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I'm assuming you go there quite often? Yeah, I mean, every Saturday if I can get the time off, you know, from school and everything else. Um, well, what are you doing this weekend? Um, nothing, I don't believe. Would you like to go see one of those films with me? Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, cool. I could probably just tell you the entire thing, like I was telling a story, <laughs> but I don't want to give it away. But you're going to love it. Seriously. I think I've seen it like three or four times already. <laughs> it is the best. I'm really excited to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, God. See, I love that you have an appreciation for good movies, too. Like, it's so rare. You'd be so surprised. Okay, well, without giving anything away, like, the gist of the movie, basically, this guy, he gets this gig as an entertainment journalist. Mm -hmm. So, big opportunity for him. Huge. Like, one of those can't screw this up things. So, he goes and he gets paired up with this model and this actress, gorgeous. I've never seen Winona as more, like, more beautiful than she looked in this movie. <laughs> and Leo, oh my god, amazing. But, so yeah, when he comes into their world, he gets like entangled in like the web of their lives mm -hmm. pretty much. Like, god, I can't see any more because I don't want to give it away, but you're going to love it. When it comes out on tape, I'm definitely getting it. <laughs> Do you like this place? Yeah, it's really killer. I've never seen anything like this. It's so chill. Like, anyone who's anyone is always here. It's actually pretty tame for a Friday, but any other weekend night, it gets so crazy. <laughs> like, okay, last summer, you know, Katie Evans, older sister. She was in that corner, and after one too many cocktails, she like totally just like took her shirt off. No bra, full tits out. It was crazy. <laughs> oh I was there and I was like, what is this? It was like spring <laughs> break or something. It was insane. And that's just like an example. We're gonna have to come here a lot more often. I would absolutely love that. Yeah. I would even um, love to take you to these films more often if you were my girlfriend or something. <laughs> oh. Um. I, uh. Thought. Um. I. I'm. Just, I'm sorry if I. If I gave you the wrong impression or anything. I, um. I'm not. Like into girls. I like you a lot, a lot, a lot. 
I just don't like 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 you. I I don't have any like problems with like gay people or anything. One of my really good friends is gay and like I've known for years and We can get some snacks from here, maybe some more coffee, and then sneak it into the theater, get some snacks, and I'll get them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you, Kenneth's character is unbelievable. I don't think anyone could have done their role like that. Hey, are you going to walk me home or what? Do you not want to go in? It's... It's just... It's the front door and... Okay. To get you in, what if I took you through the back door? That'd be better. Okay, go. It's the best seat in the house. Yeah. It's super comfy. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you all for coming back. Uh, uh, we'll introduce, I guess, a little bit about what our group's mission and our values are since Sam is new. Um, Be Proud is a totally like volunteer run, uh, drop in uh, type of, uh, like, I guess, a youth support group. You could say anyone from the ages of 18 to 22 are welcome. Even Jennifer, she's like, what, 20? She's 24, uh, yeah. but she's part of it. She's, you're young at heart. You're young at heart. That's right. So, no, it's, it, you know, the, the, the whole reason why we started this group together was that we wanted to make sure, you know, for anyone who is uh, GLBT and questioning that you have a safe space, that it's inclusive, that we all have a chance to just like share stories and get support and like hang out and we do movie nights and game nights and all kinds of stuff. So um, why don't we actually share a little bit more about ourselves. Maybe if everybody can go around, we can introduce ourselves, you know, how old are we, where are we from, and our coming out stories. Yeah. 
I, yeah, I won't tell I you guys it. my coming out story because I tell it all the time, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> and I'm and I'm much older than this. So, but, but why don't uh, uh, Jen? Why don't you go ahead and, and share with us? Sure. So, four years ago, back home, visiting my mom. My dad's not really in the picture, and my mom works nights. A friend of mine introduced me to this message board where people share pictures and stories, and, and I think I'm home alone, and turns out that night my mom decided to come home from work early, <laughs> and she saw exactly what I was looking at. I guess I could have denied it and come up with some kind of excuse, but I didn't, and I just, told her like, between sobs <laughs> that I was gay. She knows now that I'm gay and she, you know, she's not horrified. She didn't disown me, but it's not like the best. It is what it is. Um, my mom and I, I, I guess we were out shopping and we saw this lesbian couple and my mom is just, I don't get it. I don't understand how two women can, I, I just, I, it's, it's not right. So I look at her and I go, what of it? What's wrong with it? It's okay, just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not okay. You know, she, she accepted it. Um, things are good. We, we get along and I, it could be a lot worse. So, I'm <laughs> Dinah. I'm 21. I am very much in the middle of the journey. <laughs> uh, one of the girls that I've been like close friends with since we were really young. Um, she's always kind of been like, I thought like the pretty one. I've had kind of a crush on her, but not, I mean, I never knew, I knew it was never gonna be anything. So I just kind of put it down real low. After a while, she just like picked up on my horribly nervous energy around her. One day at lunch, we were sitting together eating and she just, told me like, hey, you know, if you like girls, nobody would care. None of us would care at all. It'd be cool. Just like, I have no idea what, what you're talking about. I, I, me, no, 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 never. Um, <laughs> and we just kind of let it be, you know? She didn't really like make me talk about it more, but it was very understood that she like knew what was going on. So my name is Sarah. I think we've met a few times before and I'm 18 years old. I f feel like my friends and everyone at school knew way before my family did. It kind of all started like two years ago. There was this girl that I had a few classes with. She's still not out, but everyone knows that she is gay. <laughs> like, it's pretty obvious. I don't know, we just, we started hanging out a lot more and we would always go to each other's houses after school or get lunch together. Both admitted that we had feelings for each other and we started dating, but we didn't want anyone to know. So it was just like a secret. But of course, we were always with each other and sometimes we would hold hands, you know, as friends. <laughs> and then one day I was talking to my best friend, Julia, you know Jules. She sits in the front of the class in our history yeah. class. And I was like, Julia, me and Jamie kind of have something going. And she was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And then she's like, everyone knows. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I guess when we were holding hands as friends, everyone knew it was more than that. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, okay, good.